Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. So, so far we have learned so many things. We have discussed about the framework with the TypeScript. Today we are going to learn how to pass the environment URL from the command prompt or from the terminal. So it's very common that in testing always we will have multiple environments. For example, let's say that we have QA, we have QA1, 2, 3 or maybe prod or the release, right? So almost the each and every test scenario or the test case or the ui of the application will looks exactly same but of course there might be minor uh, changes but whenever we are going to test multiple environment we have to write the script only once and based on the environment we can just change the url and based on that our test script should run right so we are going to do the exactly same but of course i don't have like multiple environments to show you the demo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the let code older application that is play.letcode.in and the newer application letcode.in. So we have this test case called uh, interact with inputs where we have learned in the very first uh, few videos like how to use the send keys, how to do the clear text or how to append the value or if it's read only or not all those stuff we have learned right. And the exact same use case is also available in play.letcode.in as well right. So I'm just going to show you how we can do that from the terminal, okay? To achieve this, we are going to use the parent concept in protected. So let's see the documentation first. So if you go to this particular URL, the config.ts file, I will leave a link in the description so you can check it from there. And here you can see that we have something called parents and that can accept any. Any means it can be object, string, in number or anything. The data type can be of any. And here we have a beautiful example as well. So I'm going to use the same concept in our script as well. So let's discuss about the script now. So very simple script, uh, interact, with in, uh, interact with inputs where we are trying to do some like enter username and append data and get the value and then clearing a value and then like confirm the text box is disabled or not, something like that, okay? Now, everything async and await, of course, that is what we are learning from the very first uh, beginning of this entire series so of course everything will be same and uh, here we are using this like play.litcode.in so this is going to run for the single instance let's say that this is going to be our QA1 right and we have to use the same script to run in the QA2 as well for in my scenario it's going to be like play.litcode.in right so let's go to the config file first and here I'm going to introduce a new thing called parents colon and then within this we have to have a curly braces and within the curly braces we can write any data whatever we want to to pass right so here let's say that environment env and then we are going to pass the url right so let's copy this let code dot in slash edit this this url first and i'm going to paste it here now let's go back to our script so instead of this one we have to say like browser dot params now you can see we are getting this params as a property and from there i'm going to say like env that is my environment okay now let's see if this is first running then probably we'll uh, go with the dynamic one right so here i'm going to say protector then followed by protector dot control js that is what we have here right now of course everything is in typescript so make sure that your configuration file has the ts node and all those set up that we discuss in our eight to nine videos in our protected typescript framework i believe so script is started now let's see the result as well okay the script is completed and here you can see that we have five spec zero failure it's running for the um, q1 that is let code dot it now let's go back to the configuration file and here i'm just going to add this one so play dot let code dot in now let's try to run this again the browser automatically get closed in the protector but i do a lot of debugging so i just uh, remains it in open in for my office project that's the reason the browser is not closing so don't get confused with that so now we can see the url of play.letcode.in i believe so let's see Okay, so we can see the URL, it's loaded with the play.let code in and of course the test case uh, is very same. So we cannot expect much from here. Let's close this one. And here also you can see we got five uh, spec pass and the same exact result what we got. So only the URL is different other than functionality is same, UI is of course different, right? 
now let's understand how to pass this from this terminal okay so we are going to pass from the terminal and based on that we are going to uh, trigger our test case okay so i'm just going to make this as blank it can be any value doesn't matter really but just for understanding i'm making this as a blank now okay so here you can see that uh, we have this environment but the environment is nothing there right so we have to pass the environment from the terminal let's see how to do that so i'm just going to clear it up and here i'm going to use the same command and after that we have to say dash dash params dot env env is nothing but the value we have specified over here right so this is not like keyword or anything it can be anything it can be your username it can be your password or it can be anything so here we have to define the exact word that we have specified over here right now here we have to say equal to then double quotes within this you have to pass the url that's it very simple and make sure you do not have space with uh, between the double quotes and the equal to okay so that is not going to work actually so make sure we are going to pass this url exactly here right so here i'm going to just paste it and then hit enter right that's it now let's see it should run for the let go dot in okay so let's see the output as well okay so here you can see let go dot in uh, slash edit is loading now so this is uh, as per our understanding this is like our qa environment qa1 environment right now let's close this so result of course it's passed now let's clear it up and run for the same but here we are just going to add the um, play dot let code right so play dot let go dot in slash edit that's it let's run this now hopefully it should run so same concept nothing much okay so now you can see that play dot let go dot in that is as per our understanding it's our qa2 that loaded successfully right now let's close this browser and see the result of course it's passing we know that it will definitely pass right so in this way we can pass the environment url from the terminal and uh, this is very cool right so instead of having multiple configuration file we can just pass the value from the um, terminal and based on that it's going to work we can enhance this more as well with the help of node that is from the package.json that is npm script we can trigger our test cases probably you will see that in our upcoming videos like how we can run our test case from the node package manager or the npm using the package.json okay so that's it from my side hope you have enjoyed the video if so please do let me know in the comments and see you in the next one very soon don't forget to subscribe thank you